Hello and welcome back everyone. In this episode we're going to tie everything together and round out the Amplify Shader Editor Force, Field sh blech, Force Shield series. Uh, we're skipping over the Shield Mix for Emission as well as the Shield Wave Effect. These are both pretty similar and if you understand the operation that's happening in the Impact Effect you should be able to recreate these with no trouble. Uh, essentially this one just takes a texture and translates it across the model and this one is just making things shiny. So feel free to pause the video now if you want to recreate that. Or if, if you guys don't want to make these from scratch, you can just use the um, force shield that comes with Amplify Shader Editor. And if you give it these exact parameters, you'll get this exact result. So I, I do have a few ideas for improving this. I think that we could add a ripple effect when the impact happens. Rather than just a solid color, I think it would look really cool if the model was kind of wavy around the impact. And also if we added a um, particle effect on the on the impact it would be really easy to calculate the ricochet direction and so we could use that for the particle effect um, but I'm not doing that in this video uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that at all let me know in the comments if you want to see that um, but just to kind of recap everything we've got the shield main pattern that is the glowing gold moving across the model I think we covered that in like episode four uh, we've got the Shield Rim, that's the Fresnel effect, and we covered that in like episode 5 maybe. And uh, I really like the Fresnel effect, I definitely recommend checking out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, we've got the Distortion, and this is used in a lot of different shaders. It's definitely highly applicable, so uh, this is a good thing to understand, but basically we're ju we just use the normal direction to uh, modify these vertices. And uh, we skipped this one. And then we've got the impact effect. And this was videos one and, or I think this was videos two and three. And um, pretty exciting stuff happening there. Uh, I don't really, I feel like I don't really have too much to say in this video aside from this is an awesome force shield. And uh, I didn't really make it myself, but I learned a lot from it. And uh, th these are the, the final parameters that I fed into the material. For the colors, I'm using 232, 206, 10, and 255. And you can see the rest of them. So feel free to copy those into your force shield. So I guess that's it. Uh, thank, you, thank you guys for watching. The, the more you practice making things like this, the better you're going to get at making shaders, and the better you're going to get at creating that exact look and feel that you want for your game. So keep practicing, keep developing, keep having fun, and I'll see you guys next time.